Welcome into Sunday sermon, and uh, this is a uh, this is a thing that we do. Uh, well, we we read from uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, uh, the United Independent Compensatory uh, Concept. It's a uh, code system concept for uh, it's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism or white supremacy. If you're not a victim of racism, white supremacy, this is not the tome for you. By Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And uh, this happens to be the reprint of the 1984 edition of the book. There's a uh, revised edition, the 2016 edition, which is available, all available at uh, uh, producejustice.com. That's producejustice.com if you want want the book. Um, they, they also have there's a word guide and and uh, uh, and a uh, and the like I said, the revised edition in 2016. This was uh, reprinted in 2016, I think, also or 2017, somewhere around there. Uh, but the original one has a bigger format, uh, and that's the 1984 edition, the first one uh, to be put out. Um, so this is the 1984 p edition redone, <laughs> well, re <clears throat> re reproduced. Uh, now, um, this is the end of the month. Well, end of the month, the last Sunday of every month, we go into um, the, the back of books. Now, this is this happens to be uh, the the original book has a uh, a word guide. Um, as you may or may not know, there are, there are uh, nine a uh, major areas of human activity Mr. Neely Fuller talks about. And they are uh, uh, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, uh, religion, sex, and uh, war. Uh, on, his brought, on his transmission, he, he transmits every Tuesday um, from uh, nine a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, or that's United States Eastern, well, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and what he what he doesn't, out of the nine areas activity, what he doesn't deal with is war, counter war, that, that section. Um, uh, we, uh, we being, uh, well, me, <laughs> T from the Patterson Segment Trains to Tibet, we, uh, we also have the, the original book, uh, we have it bound, um, you know, it's bound uh, from Lovedale Press over there in the Eastern Cape in Alice in the Eastern Cape of uh, Southern Africa. But that book is down there. Uh, it's at the Lakota House, which is a little community house, uh, community house think tank, such that whatever you want to call it. That I uh, that I'm the uh, I want to say I'm I'm a counselor for. I guess I don't, yeah I guess I'm the counselor for that house. Um, and we're guided by one of the things we're guided by is the principles uh, that put forth by Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr. Uh, so that book is down there. When we're down there, then we use we use that book exclusively. But other places we use the uh, 1980, uh, well, rather the um, 2016 uh, revised edition. And um, for here, in, in both in both editions or all editions, there in the back they have a they have a word guide and also uh, quotations like uh, speech thoughts, um, our thought speech and or action from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And, um, and we we well in uh, the 2016 edition is that section is expanded. So when we're there, we use that section. But here, what I've what I've done, what I am doing is I'm just good. In the original edition, the real edition, they had they had some words uh, that he expanded to the word guide in 2016 edition. So we're going to uh, just deal uh, well today, this last uh, Sunday, where we deal with the. Uh, it's called the back of the book. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, go to the word guide or the, I guess the, yeah, the alphabet guide that we have here, and I'm just going to do uh, the um, section that has black in it, um, and it's it's roughly uh, basically two pages, half a page, uh, two forty, all of page two forty one, and uh, basically say the half a page, um, uh, two forty. Two, there's 242, this is uh, 241, and uh, uh, this is 240. So I'm going to read all the things that has black in front of it, okay? So, oh, since it's uh, uh, the day before Boxing Day, I'll put on my Santa Claus glasses so I can read, <laughs> read these, okay? So here we go, uh, on, on the things that start with black. He says, uh, remember, this is 1984 edition that came out, and he had been writing the book since uh, 1957, somewhere when he was in the um, lonely 
uh, radar station or whatever station up there in North Korea. He was serving in the uh, in the uh, Air Force of North United States Air Force, but he was at North Korea. So that's when he started the book, and from, from basically fifty seven, whenever it was, up until um, eighty four, had been working on it, and somebody helped him to publish it in eighty four. That's nineteen eighty four. That's when it happened. So remember, that's the time frame we're talking about. So these definitions apply before 1984. Black family, a non-existent family, that's in quotes, see family and or white family. Black fascism, uh, number one, the subjugation of all uh, white people by black people and or by non-white people for the basic purpose of debasing white people and glorifying uh, non-white uh, people. Two, the non-existence form, oh, uh, number two, a non-existent form of fascism. Interesting, don't you think? Uh, now remember, uh, maybe I should run to where he says see fascism. Does it say see fascism? Uh, no, it doesn't say see fascism. But fascism, if you don't know, uh, now I'm preaching. Sunday sermons is where I get to whatever if I wish to. Uh, fascism is basically when when uh, when the state and, 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 and corporations get together to do their thing, and their thing is not in the interest of the peoples. Let's put it that way. That's, that's my short <laughs> example or, or definition. Black, uh, black leader, it says black, and then he has it in, in parentheses, non-white leader. Any black and or non-white person who causes the total elimination of the practice of white supremacy, which defines as racism, in all places, in all areas of activity, including economics, education, entertainment, uh, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. As we said before, those are the, he defines as the human areas, the human areas of activity. Uh, black man, uh, comma, and or black woman equals any black, uh, any black and or non-white male or female person who is not subject to white supremacy, which is racism. Uh, who does not in any manner, directly or indirectly, do or say anything that helps to support white supremacy in that area of activity, including economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. And there has explanation. He has uh, things as explanation. It explains what he just did. So I won't explain it in my uh, understanding of it. Let me Nilly nearly fully junior explain it here. No black comma, and or non-white person can be correctly called a man or a woman and at the same time be subject to white supremacy, which is racism. The reason is that no black and or non-white person can function as a man or as a woman and at the same time submit to and cooperate with white supremacy, racism, in any manner, directly or indirectly. Any person that any person at the time can only function as a male or female child. He has child in quotation marks. He has child in quotation marks. Uh, subject and or victim. Okay. Uh, yeah. See right there, it says child, if you can see that. There. All right. Therefore, any, therefore, under white supremacy, it is correct to refer to each black and or non-white person, person as a male or female and or as a victim, not as a man, not as a woman. I'll let you re rewind that and do the whole thing over again for yourself. Uh, black people, it's black people. Generally, any people classified by white people as being non-white and or as being the darker of those people generally regarded as non-white. Uh, the non-white classific classification generally includes persons classified as brown, red, yellow, etc. And or any uh, black shades, shades of black or and or shades of shades of black. In other words, it's like the one drop rule. You got one drop black blood in you. In other words, you ain't white, so that's it. <laughs> black person, any person classified as and or who generally functions as a black, brown, red, yellow, 
and or non-white person. This is interesting to me. Uh, a black person who functions as, in other words, if you embrace your blackness, then you black. <laughs> in other words, you embrace your one drop, then you black. Interesting, don't you think? Well, I think it is. Uh, black person equals, then he has, see, he has one black person without the quotes, then he have black in quotes person. Uh, a person whose physical structure is composed of elements which produce significant and or pronounced skin color that is other than white in general appearance. In other words, you got some melanin in you. Uh, okay, coming to the end. Uh, page 242. Black power, black in quotes power. Any word or deed and or any combination of words or deeds that produce effective against, that prove effective against white supremacy, racism, which employ by the victims of white supremacy, non-white people. Okay, if you're into black power, that means, well, you're, you're trying to be effective against racism, white supremacy. Number two, the sum total, the sum total of all thought, speech, and action by black and or non-white people that helps to reveal truth, promote justice, and or promote correctness. I like that one. Let me repeat it, because I like it. That's what preachers do. I'm not a preacher, I'm just... Well, it's a Sunday sermon. The sum total... Now, black power is the sum total of all thought, speech, and action by black and or non-white people that helps to reveal truth, promote justice, and or promote correctness. Very, very good. Black supremacists, uh, a non-white person who directly or indirectly helps to maintain and subjugate, and uh, uh, maintain the subjugation of all white people for the basic purpose of pleasing and or serving any and or all non-white pe persons at any time in all areas of activity, including economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, uh, sex, and war. And he has black supremacy under them again. Black supremacy, this is black supremacy equals. The subjugation of all white people by black and or non-white people for the basic purpose of pleasing and or serving any or all black or non-white persons at all times in all areas of activity, including economics, education, entertainment, uh, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Boy, this is race, oh, they didn't get to boy, so let's leave it out because I said I was going to do uh, only black. This is this interesting because at other times, when you, if you listen to Mr. Neely Fuller's uh, uh, broadcast, you know, transmission, he will tell you, well, there's no such thing as black supremacy because, well, if everything is white supremacy, you can't have you can't have, you can't have two supremacies in one area at the same time, in one time, one breath, in one circumstance at the same time. Um, so that's it. That's the thing on 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 black. So there we are, another uh, how do we say that session from uh, Sunday services, uh, Sunday sermons. It'll be sir. I'll have services when I get back to Dimbaza. Then we'll we'll go from sermons and we'll there'll still be a sermon, but I'll have a somehow we'll have some sort of I don't know wafers or something like that, grapes, seeded grapes or something that we'll give out. You know, as a sacraments or something like that. I'm thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. I don't know if it's going to happen because I'm not really a preacher. I'm just an Anthony, and that would be me, T from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.